since morning whenever we are talking to devotees the issue came up of the leader's health leader's health there are several senior leaders are actually having serious issues and morning also we were discussing few things and this issue came up then i can relate to that prana we are all alive we are functioning we are thinking because there is prana in the body and prana is the lord infuses prana shakti in his creation and what we are eating actually is supposed to provide us with prana so while morning i every morning take gomutra ark last maybe maybe 20 years or 18 years so i was taking then i was thinking that today's verse was given to me i was you know what while taking gomutra ark i carry while i am traveling i thought of who mr govind hari you are one of your ttg trustees or maybe just retired come out of the board but mr govind hari he is a secretary of the hospitals you know andhra telangana hospital association and he is a senior leader so while we were sitting few months back he told me he is a he is he has own several hospitals so during corona he told swami ji why i am saying this because we are trying we are devotees but we don't know the basics of what what you know prabhupad used to sign every letter how was he signing can you anybody tell me no no yeah that is true but that that of course is was there but there was one line which was constant in his yeah no the, yeah it means that but what was the exact word hope this meets you in good health that's all every letter was hope this meets you in good health now the point is here the earth mother earth is praying very relevant chapter so mr govind hari told me personally swami ji i was roaming during whole corona i was sitting and chit chatting with patients in icu corona patients without mask i said you would have been arrested because i am a vip no policeman will arrest me so i said you didn't get infected no how can i be infected i am taking panchagavya and when uh, mostly gomutra ark and summer two months i take panchagavya so corona or corona's father cannot do anything to me you see we devotees we are supposed to be devotees and we are worshiping krishna why because he is aradhya param aradhya he is worshiped you know sanjay the rajasuya yagya sahadev got up and who should have received the krishna but krishna's aradhya who is krishna's aradhya devotees and cows vaishnavas and cows first roti goes to in our families for example rajasthanis first roti is for cow second for krishna and last roti is for the dog because if you don't feed the dog when yam 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 dutas take away that sarma is the dog is the dog of bit dog of she dog of the demigod her two sons they take away their share they take away the flesh so last chapati is meant for see that was the thing up to 4 inches were meant crop meant for the earth you don't take out uproot up to 3 inches or 4 inches then there was the first offering each that was for the birds was left the crop certain portion of the you know that uh, that top top of the crop few few pieces then for agni then for when you make chapatis first chapati for the cow second for krishna in vraja temples first for cow second for brajavasi sadhus third for krishna in vraja temples he told me the 
pujari of one of the main temples. He told me. So Krishna is Aradhya is cow actually. Now what has happened, the problem is, today we had, yesterday we had prasadam, all of us, right? We call it prasadam because Krishna, it has been offered to Jagannath. But we don't bother, wonder, I may offer you something, but it's up to you to accept it, yes or no? He is not bound to accept. The food that is coming now of the industrial whole production system is actually, is a dead food, is a raped, is produced out of, is a chori ka mal hai, is a looted, looted material. You see, you go and withdraw from the bank. No problem, you have 20,000, 50,000, you draw your money. But robbers also draw. Right? But that money will not do them good. Police is hunting for that money, wherever it goes. So point is, what we are growing now is actually by forcefully raping Mother Earth. She gives out of affection. So this soil crisis is actually the biggest crisis. And whatever is coming out, this raped, this, ro this looted material, robbed of, actually this is devoid of all wives, all good wives, good nutrition. It devoid of all life-sustaining properties. So when you eat dead food, your organs die also. So what has happened is, this was a trailer, cinema is yet to come. Corona was a trailer, warning, Mother Earth is warning, Krishna is warning, nature is warning. So what has happened is, in all industrial, this, you see biggest virologists of the world, biggest epidemiologists of the world are talking that we are because we are doing industrial, factory farming, keeping all these animals together for slaughter. Each farm has sometime million, two million, five million animals and all antibiotic usage. Now Srila Prabhupada as Trikalagya saw these things happening, you know. So he told us that as devotees we should be connected to the food system, to earth. You know, just very fact, in America, for example, connecting to your food, connecting to earth, bolte na, Hindi mein, dharti par aajao, don't fly in sky, get down to earth, get down to your roots. In America, for example, for dyslexic children, for autism, they are called children with special needs, very hard to manage. So their classrooms, what they did was, no, I don't, this is okay. So in their classroom, what they did was, there is, they are hard to manage. So they took out the floor and earthed them. Means when you sit, your legs are touching the earth. Very fact, if you walk barefoot on the earth, many of us have not touched earth for years, that's called earthing, our earthing is not there. So now if you see Google, Earthing, you see, when you don't have earthing, what will happen? You can't touch, right? Any electrician will tell you earthing. We are, shock will come. So we have not earthed ourselves. We should walk barefoot on the ground. So many health problems will go because that earth's energy, that is not flowing through us. Lot of big leaders, lot of devotees, a main, East India is one of the big temples where actually Prabhupada was born. That Prabhu told, the leader told me, they are spending six lakh rupees a month for brahmacharis medicines. So, there is a will, there is a way. Because we don't care. We think we do just our sadhana, bhakti. No. There is a background for everything. Bhakti is not something, we are not Mahabhagavata in pure love, so that we, are, we can do bhakti without any condition. We are conditioned bhakti we are doing. So we are subjected to our health. Here, Mahabhagavata, even when he is sick, it, they don't, but they are above their bodily platform. Our problem is we are still on the bodily platform. 
you must have realized when there is a fever, high fever, we can't finish our 16 rounds. At least I have sensed that. So point is, bhakti requires a setting. You see, when, when one is in a natural setting, like a forest, in a, in a natural woods, or in a, with a lot of greeneries, your rounds that time, and in a busy metropolis, in a city, your rounds, People were God, people were God fearing, people were worshipping God. For example, Prabhupada went to America. In the county he stayed, in Butler, there were like five, six, seven big, big churches. People were naturally God conscious. I was in Central Asian, uh, what you call a small country, Islamic country, for example. As soon as evening I go, everybody is with their mala, all is Muslims. A very simple, small airport. Uh, evening, everybody mala. When I went in, the lady kept the mala aside and checked me in and after again taken their mala. Whole airport is with mala. Their, their tasbi, whole airport is with mala, you know. So point is natural. When you are in a natural setting, so 200 years back, this civilization started called industrial, techno-industrial civilization based on petroleum, based on fossil fuels. Now this won't last forever. That is the one on drdasa.com, drdasa.com, I written on this subject 50 books. So point is, you can go through, I mean, first my book was on fossil fuel, petroleum, because Prabhupada spoke. Every third, every second page has a Prabhupada quote on it. And that, I saw, that is being quoted, I saw on the Pakistan Energy Commission's website. That book on the front page was displayed. That was six years ago. Anyway, so my point is as devotees, it's time to wake up. You see, First thing in the morning, you know, for example, first thing in morning, what toothpaste you are using, Prabhu? Tell me. Peps or dent? And Prabhu, yourself? No, no, which, which toothpaste do you use? Huh? Sensodyne. See the problem. You are Prabhu? Huh? Go Seva. Prabhu, I have 5,000 pages of notes on what dental care means and what impact it has. 5,000 pages in my system, it is there. It relates to your heart, to your brain nerves, your dental. You know, that's why this now there is a big paper has been researched, as, paper has been published on root canal, how it affects your brain permanently. There is a big paper on this particular subject. Prabhupada spoke on his letters, taking cow dung, burning cow dung, and ad adding rock salt, sendha namak, is a very good antiseptic. He wrote in his letters. Are we following? The, this is such a big subject. All you have to do is to buy this cow dung, cow dung, what you call that. It will purify your health. Now, you know, in America, if you see Pepsodent America, if ingested, if ingested, call this helpline number. They are poisons. If ingested. You see, America, those have the statutory warning. How dangerous these... Uh, these things are, and when you put in mouth, they get absorbed in blood because, so what I do, first thing I put this cow, our cow powder, and I don't rinse my mouth. So next 15-20 minutes, it's there, it absorbs. Cow dung ash. We don't know so many things, acidic, all cancer is coming because of acidic constitution. And the uh, the, the cow dung ash or wood ash, even wood ash has such a, what you call high, what you call up to nine, that um, um, the acidity, what is that? 
pH, pH, sorry. The pH is so high, that is. So point is, if your pH comes to 4.5, if I test, we can immediately tell you there is a cancer in this body. You, are, you will have cancer. So we should keep, body should have a high pH. So what our water system, RO, RO is banned in US, uh, Europe. That is a high pH, bisleri is high, uh, low pH waters, these are acidic waters. So when my can comes, we put two chamach, cow dung ash in it. So the pH goes up. Every time I am telling you. When you put your cow dung dant manjan, it completely makes the body acid, uh, alkaline. It absorbs you, you know. And then, go mutra. Mutra urine is supposed to be acidic. Go, cow urine is very high pH, is alkaline, has a very high alkaline effect. So what happens is, you get a good start. And now as devotees, it's time we hunt for organic foods. Our temples, Krishna should be offered. If you hunt, you, there is, you will find it. It's a slightly costlier. So people told me, some people say, Prabhu, this is little, it's, it is expensive. I said, if you add the hospital bills, it is much cheaper. <laughs> now the oil. If you take proper oil, take out 300 rupees is the cost of extraction. How they are giving you in 180 rupees? Because 30% piling is legal. All Malaysian countries, Indonesian countries that not to drain, block their drains. What they do? You can take away those residues. And those residues in all our ports they arrive on these big, big containers, big, big oil ships. So 30% piling is legal. That's legal. So all these refined oils, we should have cold pressed oils. The blockages are coming. Then Dr. Price in 1930 to 1940, that's the first book of Dr. Price, Nutrition on Nutrition. He traveled to Ten years he and his wife traveled. All those communities were industry, white sugar. And all these things were coming. They compare in this famous book, nutrition book. Dr. Price, it's available. It's, it's not copyrighted because so many years over. Point is, as devotees, we don't know. And we are part of this industrial dangerous system. And we are not teaching our congregation also. I have this, uh, you know, this 500, 600 page food book on that. The, what is doing industrial, you know, food. Now the point is, the mother earth, mother cow, there can be no good health, good mind, good intellect without cow products. Vedic culture was cow culture. And cow also has A1, A2. It, I was surprised many leaders don't believe this. This is a scientific a scientific, what you call, information. So, we need these things. We have to be careful what we are ingesting. For example, I have my pollution page, file. Just the air pollution, what to PM 2.5, what, what is the emission from, the, from the, all the exhaust pipes, you know. PM 2.5 impact on health. Uh, my notes are 5,000 pages. All your problems can be traced to this single thing. Just PM 2.5. There is 800 pages notes on the tires when they grind tires. The, that dust of the tires, what it is creating. There are 5,000 pages on microplastic, what it is doing to you and the planet. Do you know your cells are now filled with microplastic? Just the plastic will kill life on the planet. Because over 70% marine life is affected by plastic and microplastic. So this civilization has no future. Prabhupada saw all that. So we are happy-go-lucky part of the industrial system. 
yes hari krishna is there chanting sadhana is there but it requires a proper setting also evam prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yogata prasanna manaso is there peaceful life that requires there is a prerequisite for bhakti there is a diamond ring diamond is nice but when surrounded in a platinum gold ring that is what is needed that is why prabhupad emphasize natural living form projects because he understood and he knew that without these things actually bhakti actually is not possible we are what we are doing is khali latakke hai kisi tarah what we are is hanging on to bhakti trying to avoid a fall down but actually rapid progress requires you know to you know uh rapid progress will require us a proper setting proper lifestyle proper nutrition for example salt you see now if you google sodium what impact it has when they used they used to have sea salt that has a 93 trace elements in it micro nutrients in it trace elements which are required for body but now what we are getting is pure sodium refined they call it now this is trashing our kidneys trashing you know our heart trashing our entire system simply we can move to sendha namak that's a rock salt pure salt from pakistan and himalayan mines they are taking out that's not contaminated by microplastic by all the pollutants so our temples our devotees should only use sendha namak not this refined salt you will avoid so many problems you see this dialysis machine owners the companies did they, they paid to promote refined salt because then they will have dialysis dialysis do you know this dolo there is a supreme court case on this thing they paid 1000 crores to promote dolo and if you don't take dolo you would have survived corona because body has immunomodular system you suppress it by taking dolo then body is unable to fight i can you come to attack me i can fight right isn't it but if you tie my hand and legs i cannot fight so what happens is raising of the temperature actually is a mechanism when body raises temperature is mechanism to fight but when you suppress that mechanism that is why in our childhood doctors never gave paracetamols they told five day let him have fever that is good for your health occasional this is a excreting mechanism for the body body takes care of itself by raising we should not int- you got diarrhea let body clean up don't suppress that so body we are taking for granted mother earth we are taken for granted so this is the problem now we had rice yesterday you know that rice is like the head and legs are cut off and just this part is that rice rice should have some of layers you know hand pound rice then it will work so there is a very big need to actually mother earth we you cannot uh, this civilization so at least as devotees you know for karmis world for outside world is sometime difficult because they are addicted you know they have they have uncontrolled senses if tell them you should not drink but their lifestyle is such so much pressures they are forced to drink but as devotees we have we practice some sort of sense control so we should be able to you know so <clears throat> these cow products you know krishna mornings you know is a is a 
why why the land of vrindavan is special more than vaikuntha because in vaikuntha he wears padukas you know in vrindavan krishna doesn't wear slippers you know that is why you know akrura when he comes udhava when he, they they see the krishna's footprints that is the glory of vrindavan land you know so cows are because cows they roaming without sh- they made mother yashoda gopastami day she asked krishna to wear krishna said for all cows you make also so that is the uh, so our uh, our civilization which prabhupad wanted we should not go down with this civilization they are doomed in terms of and in terms of every aspect you know so this oils refined you see five things basically refined grains and refined salt refined oils refined sugar now what is now organic jaggery powder is coming you know all our temple as devotees we should only use jaggery powder that's also organic available little ex- little more costly that's all it will save us so much trouble anyway this is the subject so mother earth is actually praying today is mother earth is crying you see what has happened is soil the aya if you list all the words problem agar aap listing karoge word has so many problems right la prabhu what do, what according to you is the biggest problem on the planet earth tell me what do you think <coughs> everybody thinking about money okay prabhu what according to you is the biggest problem today in the world money consciousness according to you is the problem according to you what is the problem world has problem what is the biggest problem tell me quickly you never thought of world problems okay so point is there are so many problem now money problem i tell you there is a book coming up cow dung and crime control a uh, 35 books on cow dung i have already two three books cow dung big big books on cow dung which is available in 100 country i don't print people print and sell so everybody is printing and selling they are available in 100 countries cow dung as a down to earth solution to global warming and climate change and i am not quoting myself there i am quoting all the authorities big top scientists of the world now point is cow dung and crime control if you have cow dung in a soil system your agriculture system there will be no crime in society crime is a function of brain deficiency this was proven by dr price when there is a nutrition nut- your heart does not work because there is a nutrient problem brain also does a cr- criminal's brain you know autopsy they took out criminal brains analyze the criminals brains and a normal non criminal civilians brain you know then you see that the, that brain has a lot of deficiencies that brain has problems because it is not receiving nutrition and doctor they ran uh, uh, control studies on criminals in the jail those who were very hard to manage fed them properly butter proper nutrition and they saw their behavior becoming normalized so cow dung and crime control cow dung solves all your problems of your micro macro every problem you know Ka- societies which they use cow dung that's why india had no crime problem nobody would steal hensang came he wrote he saw in a village while walking three ladies were walking that one anklet of one lady fell gold solid gold she just brushed it aside and they kept walking and after next day he came it was their third day that lady picked up nobody would steal many years ago i went to this uttarakhand long village 
So they kept a uh, highway bus dropped us, then we have to go hiking, you know. So that person told, uh, keep your bags here, Prabhuji. Highway ke bagal mein. I said, laptop, I have a laptop, okay, suitcase, it's okay, laptop. He said, no, no, don't worry about laptop also. We went all the way, one hour hiking, then the servant came back to bring our luggage. He said, paad mein koi bhi nahi leta hai. Koi nahi leta hai, because they have a natural food system. And this is a criminal, heartless food system. Why even devotees are sometimes very heartless, because we are eating all... Food which has no emotion in it. We are telling, we should offer to Jagannath with love. Why we don't offer outside this uh, tiffin center? Because this is not offered, not cooked with love. We are talking of cooked with love, not grown with love. You understand what I am saying? Food has to be also grown with love. Farmer will plant with love. Farmer will water with love. Farmer will harvest with love, thrash with love, store with love. So when you eat that food, cows, vatsala, because cow has got feelings. Why milk is so... But today's cow milk, dairy milk is a heartless milk, it's a sl white beef. This is a liquid beef, white blood. This is a liquid beef, industrial milk is liquid beef. It's, cow is not giving out of affection. So how will you have affectionate brain today? That is why if an accident is there, nobody bothers to call up ambulance today. People die on streets by bleeding today. So, you see in 1968, one of our congregation members, he is retired now, he told me, he had a fight at home, he left to Kathmandu. 1967-68 for Kathmandu for doing some business. At night he rented a shop to lock. They said there is, it's illegal to lock your shop there. It's an insult to the king. That means you don't have faith on the king. He told me, I have not, I was born that time. So I, I can't, uh, he told me it was illegal to put locks, use locks in Kathmandu markets. Because that's an insult to the king. Can you imagine the society? What was the society? So just I said, what you do? We bolted and went home. Nobody would steal. But today, because our, our whole system is a criminal and it starts with plan robbing the earth, everything is deficient. You t I tell you another thing. This whole artificial insemination. You see, the children are getting very sexualized. In Britain, the youngest rape accused is three years old. Police don't know what to do with them. In India, the youngest I found was five years old. Rape accused is five years old in India. Now, why this is happening? This artificial insemination, what do they do? There was, there is a, now somebody is doing a research, a researcher told me, that's, that's, his, that's actually a lady, her subject is this whole thing. Now what they do to extract semens, they make the bull ride on, you know, RT, on, 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 on platforms. The bull is not actually mating with a cow to extract semen they make the bull ride artificially, you know. Now that semen when it is used, that milk is actually, that milk contaminates the brain, you know. That make people highly sexual, I mean, you know, promiscuity will promote. That's not sattvic, highly tamasic. So all dangerous asuric systems, I have written a script, I tell you, this is called, I have not given a name, I tell you what is the story. I am I'm trying to get a movie out of it. Ravana's, the film starts with Ravana's kingdom, okay, Lanka. In that kingdom, Ravana spots one, one, um, one guard 
who is actually hobnobbing with Vibhishan. So Ravana curses him that you will be born in Kali Yoga. So that that person takes birth in, a, you know, comes out of manhole in New Delhi, you know. <coughs> now the film starts. Because he is from Lanka. Lanka Nisichara Nikara Nivasa Yaha Ka Sajjan Karavasa So to Rakshas Nagari hai. Rakshas Nagari mein But one o'clock Brahma Ghosh Brahma Ghosha It is a Valmiki Ramayana Hanumanji heard Brahma Ghosh Vedic chants at one o'clock They do actually everything But Avidhi Purvakam So they are It's in Valmiki So point is Lanka, now he is in New Delhi, okay? So then he goes, he sees there is abortion clinic. So he asks, what it is this? He says, we keep unborn. Then he says, in Lanka, we never did this. Then he goes to, you know, the meat shop and the meat processing and everything. The, then he sees uh, this, what, what are they doing? They are exporting. We never exported meat. Then they, he sees a beef shop, you know, Kalyani Biryani. You know the name for beef product is, beef biryani is Kalyani Biryani. In Hyderabad you can see, it's all Kalyani Biryani available. On the highway you can see Kalyani. Kalyani means it will do your good. They have propagated, it will do your spiritual good if you eat that. So, Isan Lanka, we never did that. So, he goes one by one of our modern lifestyle. Then he remembers, ki Raya's rak- to call them Rakshasa is an insult to Rakshasas. Then what happens? Then he becomes, meets somebody and he says, I am from Lanka. So, he says, you are a Rakshasa. Then he says, you called me Rakshasa, he files a defamation case on him. Because to call him Rakshasa is a defamation. You people are real Rakshasas. So, ah, then the film will end with, when when we establish, court will say, actually you people, he is not Rakshasa. You people are real Rakshasas. So, point is, what we are doing to the world, you know. What we are doing to the... So this is what the theme is about. And you know... um, So our life should be connected from morning till night. We may live in cities. But you know, another thing I tell you, I stopped using soap. You won't believe what an experience when you put that uh, cow dung basically... Multani Mitti and cow dung soap, you take shower. You see, point is, Gomutra has Ganga water in it. Ganga and uh, all the holy places reside in Gomutra. Morning you take, not only physically. There are 200 research paper on Gomutra, you know. I was in a 200 scientists of top India scientists talking of just cow urine. What a science this was. And now soap. Come to soap, you know. Even today, I said my second shower, I had to... Point is, Puranas you see, all these, um, so many sinful activities, counteraction, you know. What it is? Panchgavya. Taking Panchgavya or bathing with Panchgavya. Actually, by taking Gomutra, by we are purifying ourselves of yesterday so many sins. And the soaps, what they are doing to your body, disturbing your skin pH, destroying your skin pH, ingesting all chemicals in your body and creating vayu. That is why oil abhyanga is recommended. Vayu, to keep your vayu under check. All these health, bone issue, pain issues are due to imbalance of vayu. And your mental issues are due to, you know how Ayurveda, they solve mental issues? By, by pouring oil, right? 
that is the that is the treatment they pacify the airs of the body so point is using these soaps will not disturb your vayu in the body they have so many advantages now i have zero soaps and every bath is like burden has come come down you know so we should even a home which has cow dung cow mai vasate lakshmi you know now people are buying on amazon cow dung to keep in their shop dried cow dung patties because that's where lakshmi resides so many our sciences are there as devotees we should not be superficial we should get deep into it the lifestyle connected to mother earth mother cow and shila prabhupad wanted it jai shila prabhupad ki jai any questions okay we don't have time but quick questions we can take yeah one wale prabhu yeah so many problems by you are thinking yourself so many problems hari krishna actually in udupi there is a one witness one pro, one person he is not a devotee but he has all the pressure and diabetic so many things doctor advise walk barefoot and he did instead of walking barefoot he is just watering the field ah. and he get rid of all the diseases within 6 month see then another one you told like when you grow see love with, uh, offering with love not only we should cultivate field uh, there is a one uh, in uh, sri rangam they used to say when they uh, they produce some vegetable and brought to lord offering then they ask while we are watering what you say ah. then we are chanting this all the prabandha and the glories of krishna ah. then i water ah. so this is qualified to offer yes yes thank you thank you bro right not only cooked with love okay so pa- hawa uh, suraj uh, suraj pani mitti hawa sare rogon ki char dawa is a sunlight is a life how we are indoor packed up sunlight just because if sunlight your plants will die here but how we are working day and night we will survive with all sunlight earlier hospitals used to have lounge where all patients morning they keep for half an hour in sunlight europe every sanatorium used to give sunlight every hospital was mandatory to have sunlight and nature cure hospitals of course they give dhoop snan you know sun bath uh, yeah yeah hari krishna bro uh, prabhu today's uh, civilization is like earn more and spend more that is what a taught in the civilization ah. whatever you are uh, explaining is uh, true hmm. but it requires lot of patience but impatience is a gift of this civilization yes so i'm talking about individually even though most beautiful things are nice to hear but difficult to practice right how to convince one's own mind uh, to step into step i uh, told to use sandha. cow paste morning what is the difficulty in that i use cow soap what is the difficulty go organic take a morning walk in sun what is the difficulty difficulty is our uh, option yes prabhu it's these are not difficult difficulty is these modern things actually it's just you have to switch gear i, I agree that it is not sometime not very yes no you continue it. this is a comment so uh, i, I yeah, don't want continue. to take your time yeah yeah but mera ho gaya ha so uh, when we came from jagannath puri rath yatra ah. so in rath yatra our skin was totally you know completely uh, gone ah. uh, i my daughter and you know we all came from rath yatra so so many rashes and skin and they were sprinkling that uh, bleaching ah, water that, also ah. so then uh, how to get rid of this uh, somehow i don't know how it happened we use the cow dung soap and my daughter's skin is very very uh, soft but within no time everyone was fully normal yes, yes. and since then since then today maybe more than 11 years now i am sending that soap and cow uh, cow dung soap and that is special oil and that cream from here to us for my daughter and that courier charges so much but then all the inmates they asked 
what is this then she said this is the secret of uh, uh, you know once you use yeah. these products you can't go back to normal sure. product now if you give me 1 lakh rupees to use that soap i'll have reaction in body even chandrika soap i can't use once you use that paste all these pastes are sugar lead and chemical lead and very dangerous so yes roji yeah cancer if you see go vigyan kendra they are solving n number of cases but there is of course stage wise there is a so, but amazing results of all diseases two three hundred types of diseases cows therapies are there amazing amazing pro 150 medicines they make out of panchgavya in in in, in go vigyan anusandhan kendra this is a great science ayurveda we have we have everything lost because devotees are we are we are we have become krishna's devotees but we have not become non devotee for industrial civilization we still have our feet grounded there this does of sarva dharman parityajya krishna say so we have to leave the our attachment attraction to industrial setup also that doesn't mean you leave city you know Uh, that doesn't mean you bring cow in your apartment 18th floor no you can do go you there is a will there is a, now all factories are keeping cow factory owners why because lakshmi will come in our temple 3 4 years ago we had have some legal some problem problem i i told night 11 o'clock i want before morning go to goshala get the cows and within a week all problems over i said nothing doing now we got to cow, immediate and collections have gone up four five times <laughs> and maharaj even guru ayur guru ayur we were having prasada maharaj told guru ayur bhakti vinod maharaj told their legal problems had all solved uh, much better once the cows came as soon as cows came you know so cow this science is there you know this is not difficult but there is a will there is a way i tell you if you are determined everything will happen you know so all our temples we should have one or two cow if you brush the cow lovingly you see blood pressure normalization you go hyderabad i saw all our evening they are patting cows bola bhaiya sab log ko itna go bhakti kaise aa gaya na ye sab ye blood pressure patients are low ya high you know now cow cuddling you have to pay 170 dollars an hour 140 dollar Huh? So dollar, you five thousand, eight thousand, ten thousand rupees per hour cow cuddling. You see, America, the farms are allowing cow cuddling. You know, there's a per hour charge for cow cuddling is a big science now. So all psychiatrists are recommending cow cuddling. Uh, cow cuddling that is called the name is cow cuddling. You know, it's it's a, it's a big fashion there. So our temples, we should have one or two, and brahmachari should you know go brush serve them. you know and this is this is natural you know huh? Huh. yeah that is why you have sensitive teeth your sensodyne it is destroy destroy your teeth permanently destroy your body also prabhu i am sorry to say <laughs> you should not these are these are all artificial they should not use you know still take care if you could switch to cow products you know everything we should have cow you know because krishna was if we not who else krishna was you know worshiping cow the whole world worships krishna and krishna worships cow you know okay yeah yeah yes exactly okay yeah we are all centers now have na recommended there are good good goshalas are making they are good go vigyan anusandhan nagpur is very authorized very authorized there are several actually we have actually now we are streaming also cowism official i have started that's why a media cowism means a vedicism actually so it's not only about cow it's about holistic agriculture it's about lifestyle about mind everything so cowism official that's where we are streaming now because the verse was like this so point is that uh, the, there is a need for society to go back to the roots you know to get back to 
I tell you, yesterday I saw that somebody forwarded me a clip. I am just telling you the dangers. That uh, vendor, vegetable, we buy leafy vegetable. The guy has gone to buy a leaf vegetable. Now, due to heat and everything, by evening they will become all crumpled, right? Not fresh. So what he did was, he just, he, there is a bucket of chemicals. These are serious enzymes, you know. No, that is for ripening. He dipped that and within 60 seconds, that rotten leaves have become fresh, like they are growing, they are like literally at this speed, you know. Within 60 seconds. Now the impact of that, again, next day also it will become very crumb, he will do the same thing. Now when you eat all that, they are injecting uh, what you call the, on the vegetables, oxytocins and all these hormones. The result is, these children are, the girls, you know, this prematuring, maturing of our children. Age of two, age of one and a half, your doctors can certify those who are pediatricians. Our girls are maturing at such an early age, you know. That is called, uh, there is a medical term for that. That is, uh, anyway. So, point is, um, this all food system is so destroyed. And tomatoes, they will inject and those uh, bottle gourds and watermelons and within, oh, next day morning it is all grown. Now, this, the, how the body will handle? So, we, we have to be careful. Huh? Thank you. Hare Krishna. Jai Shila Prabhupada Ki. Jai. So, meeting is early today. Let's. Uh,